My newest little guy gets a name. Yay! <laughs> Hello, I'm Yvonne, and welcome to having you on. It's theme Thursday announcement time. But first, I wanted to share my newest little one with you. I decided to make him a boy, and he has a name. So I want to go ahead and dress him as well as I have a topic for you. I normally would do in the crib on my channel where I discuss a certain topic, but this has just been weighing on my mind that I just want to get it out there. And as well as I'm so busy with homeschooling. <laughs> and so I can't be quiet any longer. I gotta share this with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this little guy. There he is, he's so cute. And dress him in something that I got at the Kansas show. Yes, I didn't actually go to the show, uh, as you know, because it was an online show. Isn't this interesting how <laughs> it's put together? <laughs> this is the first time I'm taking this off. This is his original outfit that he arrived in. It's adorable. And I'm gonna change it in something that I got at the Kansas show that I think will suit him just fine. Yeah. Aw. <laughs> See, looking at you, I cannot see a thing. So I'm just hoping he's looking. And, oh, I think I have to untie this, of course. <laughs> and then I have to share with you what I'm gonna put him in. Here it is. It's that little Spanish knit set that I got. And I guess I'm gonna start with the pants. <laughs> They're quite long, but we'll give it a shot anyway. I don't know if you can see it all, but here we go. I know I have to talk about my topic, but let me go ahead and get him dressed so I can not forget to dress him at the same time. And I've been watching other people's videos and as well as outside the community videos. And I wanted to share something with you. Well, it's been on my mind for a while, but um, this has come up and I want to talk about it. And he has little booties that match. I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> dress up from the bottom up. Not the typical way you would dress a baby, but we're gonna do it this way anyway. Oh, he's so cute so far. I hope you can see. And this is the little jacket. I'm just gonna put it over his onesie. I'm not gonna um, put on a long sleeve shirt, although I should, but I'm just trying to get him changed so you could see him in this outfit really quickly. Of course, he's gonna have to go in for a cuddle. Okay, hang on, here he is. Aw, aw, you missed out on that. Aw, 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 so sweet. He's coming back. <laughs> aw, you can look at everybody. There he is. I hope you can still see him. He's looking up. I can't tell. And go ahead and put him in this little jacket. Aw, so cute. I love the little details on it. And dress him over here. Aw, there. Oh, it's a little big on him, but just right. Just right. Just the way it should be for a baby. Just a little bit loose. So you can still move around, not wake yourself up. Speaking of that, I've been getting requests to do a role play video, and I will do, but uh, that requires a lot of time for setup. So I'm gonna have to see if I can get that in. And here's a little, here's a little bonnet. Yeah, I guess it's a cap. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Can you see him? I'm gonna go back and see if I can see him. Cute. <laughs> I had no idea. Aw, well come with me, and I'm going to talk about what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't talk about yet. Here okay. he is, my newest little guy. And of course, I have to give him a name because I can't keep call, calling him. Here's my newest little guy because that's too long. I got a name suggestion and I'm going to go with it because it suits him. His new name is Sam. And his sculpt is the area sculpt by Ping Lao. And I have a topic I wanted to talk to you about. As I said before, I normally talk about topics in my segment called In the Crib. But I wanted to get this out there because it keeps happening. <laughs> it just gets on my nerves. And I wanted to share with you, it may not get on your nerves at all, it just, it gets on mine. And it is where people assume that you think as they do. Oh, really? No, sorry, <laughs> sorry to pop that bubble, but no, not everybody thinks the same way. For each individuals, we have our own lives, we live differently. We have different opinions and we do not all think the same. So don't clump or say that I hear the term of, you know, you've done this, 
no, I haven't. I haven't done that, what you're talking about. No, I, I haven't done that to someone else. No, no, not everybody thinks like that. I guess we'll call this the pit peeves because it's really getting on my nerves. And don't clump people together as having the same mistakes along the line that you've made and you can say, oh, you've done this too. No, no, maybe no, 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 maybe not. Fascinated by people that lie. I am fascinated of, do they really believe that they fooled you? Oh, I'm, I'm so amazed. But you know what it is? It's the same thing as assuming someone would think like they do, or they assume that you're not as smart as they are. And of course, other people will lie that they never said they never did something to avoid punishment or, you know, take responsibility for their action. Recently, in my own real life, I had a relative did something uh, that wasn't so nice, and then she lied about it. I wasn't harmed in a serious way, so I just let it go. But then it happened again. It happened again. She lied again. And this is where you go on the thought of, they assume that you don't know that they're lying. Amazing. And here's another pet peeve, I'll just throw it out there. <laughs> I have a lot to get off my chest, apparently. What really bugs me? <laughs> and that is plagiarizing. I'm not talking so much about copying someone else's art form. That is wrong. Copying about uh, uh, how someone did a, a reborn and then copying it exactly so you could say that you made it and you came up with the idea. That's wrong. That is taking something that is not rightfully yours and making it, <laughs> making it as though you came up with it. Wrong. Wrong. And there is even a YouTuber in the community, I'm sorry, I have to say it, but she actually said, if you don't want someone to seal something, then don't show it. Oh. What? No, how about you don't do the wrong thing and copy. But there's another form of plagiarizing and it's happening a lot in YouTube, way too much. And not only in our community, but I'm talking about way beyond and people who are making lots of money out of it. And it's so wrong. And that is copying someone else's content in their video, almost word per word. And that happens in the community as well. A larger channel will make the same video as a smaller channel did. It's a stolen idea. It was stolen from someone else. And that's happening right now in YouTube world is uh, smaller channels uh, will come up with great content and they work really hard at it and now it's uh, corporations uh, or businesses are coming in and copying it word for word and that is wrong <laughs> that is stealing and that is lying I think I'm gonna end on that so I wanted to have some happy times now and I'm gonna share with you some reborns and do theme Thursday announcement here we go Here's sweet Azriel. He's gonna help out for theme Thursday announcement. Always oh, being so good. Yeah. As I said before, I'm bringing back some original themes to theme Thursday. Feeling very nostalgic lately. I guess I've been trapped in the house too long. <laughs> but I'm just feeling a little nostalgic and bringing back some original themes that Amy came up with and share them. It's been a while since we've done this one. I can't even remember how long so it's due and it's an easy one and it's very creative and there's lots of options of where you can go with this and that is accessories all accessories that make your baby a little bit more realistic uh, pacifiers bottles mitts uh, booties socks and of course loveys did I remember did I say caps I hope I said caps or bonnets whatever you choose to make your baby look a little more comfortable because <laughs> we all need a lovey at this time. I also have an alternative for you as well. It was a requested theme and she did say for the alternative. So I said, okay, we'll just do it for the alternative. And it is a theme that we've done before, but it's lots of fun. And that is pastels. Anything for your baby that's pastel <laughs> for the alternative thing, just in case you don't have all those 
accessories or don't want to get out all those accessories. I don't know where you are. You might be very, very busy, but you could do pastels as the alternative theme. So have fun this week and I will share some more Reborns with you. So come along. This is my little pearl. She's an elf, but she is the Aphelia sculpt. She's the larger version, not the mini Aphelia. I know there's a small one. I, I'm, I would love to have one of those mini ones. She's dressed for pastels, and one of the pastel colors, of course, is pale, pale green. And I didn't get a chance to share her or the dress in the haul that I did of the Kansas Dolls Show, so please check it out. If you haven't seen the haul yet, go check it out. And I share with you the vendors and contact information. So if you see something or are in need of something, you can contact them and have it made. Cause do I have some more reborns to share with you? I do. I do. I, I'm so glad to spend some time with you. Can you tell? <laughs> Come along. Let's this go see. It's so hard to film a video this week. I'm getting so many interruptions, but this is my two toddlers and they are set for the alternative theme and have fun this week with either accessories or the alternative pastels. Theme Thursday, bringing the community together one theme day at a time. I'm Yvonne. Thanks so much for watching. Having you on. <laughs> oh my, let's hope that next week is better. I hope that you have a good week too. Take care. The Reborn Feel Good channel. Please subscribe for more. Thank you.